It's so hard to put it into words because it's really just like it's a good experience. You should definitely look into undergraduate research even if you're not pursuing a career in research. Research always felt like too much for me. And then when I did PERC, it helped me realize that there's a lot of things that can be considered research. Like me researching Morse code and the translations for these paintings, that's research. It's challenging, it's daring, but you had to go outside your comfort zone. Only in that case, you'll be successful. I felt like I was about to die the night before. I was so nervous, but it's actually very chill and laid back. It was a very good first presentation to have to understand almost as like an intro to conferences. I just went to another conference in New Orleans for my new research project and it was just nice going to an out-of-state conference already having some presentation experience. The undergraduate research experience at Pembroke is actually pretty special because we are such a small school. It's a little more than just a community, it's kind of like a family. Being at a small school with PERC, the center here, that gives students a chance to really branch out and grow. Doing undergraduate research looks really good if you're applying to grad schools. Having research will kind of show graduate schools that I'm up to the task and that I'm interested in actually doing research. I've had one person tell me when I become a graduate, if I go to their school, they have a spot open for me. I think it just, it allows an undergraduate student to get footing in research and it also allows you to have something pretty impressive on your resume. You get more opportunity to do things if you might not have as much because we have so many resources. They can be funded to travel to places they've never been. When I was a sophomore, Perk actually gave me the opportunity to go present my work at a conference in Canada with people from all over the world. It allows me and other students in my position to get that one-on-one -on -one experience with mentors that we wouldn't otherwise have access to at a larger university. And I like that I would be able to really communicate with my professor on a more personal level and also kind of build the professionalism and build the relationship with my professor. They take the leadership, they work a lot on their own, they're able to uh, ask further questions from that. And I think that the relationship builds, it's a, a very close relationship with me and my student, even though I'm a little bit hands-off, I'm teaching them along the way, I'm seeing their successes, their failures, I'm helping them all along the way. So that's another reason why I love my mentor, because they have just been so flexible. It's, um, they would share, like Dr. Schneider would be like, well, I really enjoy environmental sociology and race and racism, like those are my expertise, but that doesn't mean that's what you have to do. I think PERC enhances your life as a student. You get to know your professors better, and by knowing your professors better, you're able to succeed more in their classes. Being an undergraduate researcher can really improve your grades. It can improve your ability to process information and some of your basic cognitive skills. The students who are engaged in the research, they know more about the, the course material because they have time and resource they put in already. So I really like the idea of like starting with a research basis and then making my own work because of that or like with inspiration from that. Perk is for anybody at Pembroke. Any undergraduate who is interested in research or creativity can participate. There's always something that you can do, and I feel like perks really for everybody.